Hello guys, and welcome back to another Map First Impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Newbie Farm. Should I say version 4 of Newbie Farm. Now this map can be found over at PCSG, and there will be a link to the map in the description. Uh, the basis of this map is uh, rather interesting. Uh, this map has been, from my understanding, in Farm Sim 15 and possibly even Farm Sim 13 in various iterations. And if you go back far enough in my first impressions playlist, we'll find another iteration of Newbie Farm version 3 that is also for Farm Sim 17. Newbie Farm version 4, which is right here, has been released for Farm Sim 17. It is an overhaul of Newbie Farm, uh, but it is also intended to be uh, moved into 19 when it is available. Uh, this map has an interesting um, story that comes with it. Uh, basically, it's set up to be a very, very difficult map, which I find rather interesting given the name of Newbie Farm. It makes you sound like, oh, this would be a nice beginner map. But it is the absolute furthest from that possibility. So, let me go ahead and jump on in. This map is fully seasons prepared. We're going to go ahead and load up all the DLCs and all the other fun stuff here. And let's pull up the log. So the one thing is there is a warning up here. The warning does not relate to the map at all. This warning relates to the soil compaction mod, which I still have in the mods test folder that I use. So as you see, the map has loads up error free and very quickly. And here we are, our starting point. Let's go ahead and um, look at the map itself. Here we are. We start with, uh, this map has 39, three. this map has 48 fields. Okay. We have our standard crops on the map, including sugarcane. Start with field 11 and 16. Grass field and an arable field. Except all the fields are cultivated, so there's no crops to begin with. And that happens no matter if you have seasons on or not. Okay. So there's your grass field. There. Let's take a look. We start this map on hard mode. And on hard mode, we don't start with any particular crops. There are several cell points scattered around the map. Uh, looks like there are two main cell points that take most of your crops, but then there are a scattering of other cell points that kind of pick and choose what they take. In addition, we have a cell point for wool, two cell points for wood chips. BJ will take manure, slurry, and silage. And we have a barn cell point, which will take hay, straw, grass, and wood chips and pellets. Now, interesting enough, see, the price for wood chips is extremely low, as is the price for hay, straw, and grass, loose hay, straw, and grass, and silage. Silage is incredibly low. So the prices for some of these things that you may um, normally you know, used to um, really pad your, your income, it's going to be a lot harder to do that. Now, if you do happen to have the straw harvest mod, and it looks like you can make yourself a pretty penny with the pellets compared to everything else, but look at these prices here. All of these prices are depressed uh, as to what they normally are, even on hard mode. You look at our starting equipment, it's all fairly old as far as number of days. Uh, but the operating hours aren't too terrible bad. Nothing is in the red column. But there is an abundance of leased equipment. I'm talking about major, major leased equipment here. Now let's go ahead and take out a loan. So, you know, the first thing it might be to do is to ditch that leased stuff if you're financially capable. Otherwise, you're going to be paying some some leased fees until you can finally get that stuff converted over and purchased. Got uh, 
all three animal types on the map, sheep, pigs, and cows. We don't start with any sheep or pigs, but we do start with 20 cows. Also have some stuff in the, thankfully we have food in the trough and water in the trough. Got a little bit of milk already there. Some manure and liquid manure piled up so we can already start using that for our fertilizer. Silo has a capacity of 100,000 liters. Well, let's take a look at that starting equipment. Now let's look at first what we own. We own the Herleman, cultivator, plow, cedar, fertilizer spreader, and a front weight. That's all we own. Now let's look at the least. So we have least. The Fleetor, uh, Proximia Power 120. Got the front loader arms, a bucket, a fork. Got the harvester, Sampo Coma C6 harvester with rain header. Got the trailer, a front mower, header, wind rower, bale trailer, round baler, water tank, and the silo king. This is all leased. This will charge. This will be costing you money from day one. Don't have anything to harvest then ditch this stuff buddy because you're not going to be wanting to pay those least fees that's for sure let's go ahead and pick up our later and let's explore the map here start here right in front of our very wonderful looking opens up up open up Our laundry out. I guess we need to go around the hill. We have our chickens. Uh, it doesn't look like we get we have grass growing in here, so thankfully that shouldn't be too bad. You find our eggs and pick them up. I am always a big candidate though for that enhanced chicken pack where you can the eggs down here to our cow area and we've got a see we've got a silo king down here here we've got our feed trough for our cows we've got our silage trough and our straw trigger in here let's see you just get milk. You coming out of the milk machine? So we go to get some more cows. Here we've got our grass trough, and we have our water trough over here for our cows. We also have. Fill points for seed and fertilizer here. Got our manure pile. And we should have our liquid slurry around here somewhere. There she is. Don't have any liquid slurry in here? Well, we do. We've got 13,000 liters, but boy, look at that. We've got plenty of capacity there. Pull that thing up. just check this gate well well lubricated we didn't have any squeaking sounds I want to check out this silo king see if we got a trigger here oh, is that the BGA is that the BGA barely because I'm seeing it that is so we, the BGA is there it is BGA digester is the BGA's silage pit, and we have our digestate tank right here. All right, let's explore some more here. Shed here for our equipment. The stuff we have is parked here, some leased.
some more equipment. We have a fuel tank. Oh my, an old, old rusted out hunk of a harvester. We have our service service bay where we can customize and do our repairs for our vehicles. And then some more equipment. Now, if you go back and watch version 3's newbie farm, you'll know where this is. Entrance to the farm. But, man, can I tell you that the farm itself is majorly different uh, between that version and this version. This is, this is significantly... We've got our silo here and our fill spout. Seed. Our fertilizer fill point over there. There's our seed point. Sorry for that yawn there. There's our least harvester. And that folks is pretty much the main um, farm in cow farm the sheep are up on the hill as is the uh, pigs I believe so that's how they were other map let's check this just checking the uh, map for the graze mod let's go ahead and I guess uh, well let's reset our gator see where that goes. Oh, the cater is back at the shop. Set point. So we're going to run up to the sheep and piggly wiggly areas. I think the pigs are up there now. Maybe they're not. Sheep are je definitely right up here. We have the sheep trough. We've got water and grass here is where our wool pallets will spawn. And here we go to deliver or buy our sheep. And there they are, guys. Sheeps. Let's look over. Got over this, uh, View. Silvy. There's field 11. Field 11 does have grass in it, as does uh, the other field that we own. 16. Only two fields that we own have grass in them. Only start with $15,000 on hard mode. And there's a, pr a pretty small fleet to sell off. Because uh, the rest of that fleet is leased. Some more of our equipment. Do start now. Some more sheds. Start with a nice helping of straw. Looks like we got a nice helping of hay bales, and a nice helping of silage bales over here. And a very very generous area here for placing other things down here. Very, very nice. Build trailer. All right. And the pigs are, they are down here further south. So, not at the main. Go ahead and explore the shop area while we're down here. And then we will just uh, get to driving around. Got this zone marked here. I'm gonna park our meter in here. And then go inside. And we have our shop trigger and we have our customized and repair trigger here. Inside. Alright. Now. Well. adjust our our um, RP 
PDA map so we can kind of see what's going on here at a zoomed out distance. And let's get down. All right, so let's just stop here. Let's look at the main main, main map. And I guess let's take what looks like a left turn and work our way around to the farm shop. Um, we'll come back out and work our way over to the lumber yard. Work our way clockwise around the map and finish off at the freight yard, I guess. These trees are... I'm going to have to go in cab here. These trees are just to where I cannot see the cab. Let's check out this field here. This is going to be one of the bigger fields. Forty-one is eight point seven five hectares, seven hundred thousand dollars, and it's grass. Wow. Oh my. Oh wow. All the fields are grass. Oh wow. Just have to. Uh, well. <laughs> Validate that as we drive around, but some grass, grass. Um, wow, they are all grass. That is going to be, um, yeah. You're going to have to plow these if you're going to plant anything. <laughs> this this is not a newbie map. This should be called Herbie map, Herbie Farm. Art no. This should be called. Uh, this map is really stinking difficult map. It's, this looks like a fun map to do. Be a uh, interesting uh, multiplayer map. Driving through town here, very very nice. I like all the smoke. And it's nice, uh, interesting, interesting. So we can see. And now this is also very interesting. So we have a bridge to get to the... F no, that's not to the farm. To the shop, sorry. I was a little confused. I was I was thinking first that we had this bridge that we can only take things so high and so wide out of the farm store, but that's not the case. It's mistaken. This is a uh, cell point. I don't think I'm on the main road here, but boy, these are some narrow, narrow ways to get around. Here we are at one of the cell points and at a fuel point. Let's see here. This particular cell point is farm shop. And the farm shop takes wheat, barley, canola, corn, potatoes, and sugar beets. not coming in something there maybe seed Seed trigger right there. And we have a probably a liquid fertilizer. Solid fertilized trigger there. To uh, fill from. And it's a road. Oh my. This is okay. So 
Seriously, this is not semi-truck territory here. This is small trailer, small tractor territory. Because that's these are the roads you got to deal with to get over here. That is pretty tight. Explore the rest of this little area here. Really nice neighborhood. They, they do need to uh, bring somebody in to buy uh, other grass. So there you can see the egg cell point over there. Go ahead and drive on in there. Here is one of the, at least one of the egg cell points, if not the only egg cell point. Around. Maybe we are, maybe we're going to go counterclockwise then. Grass fields. <laughs> or grass fields. They are all planted in grass. They are all for for real planted in grass. This is a grass map. This is this is fun. This this would be a really fun map. Imagine playing this with seasons. <laughs> And waiting like forever before the grass would grow, but do anything with it. You'd have to uh, plow it all up, like I said. Is a cell point somewhere here. Got to get to a road, cut back, and go up into the hills. Like here's a road coming up. Let's go ahead and uh, take that. This is a uh, this is narrow also. This tree's very sneaky. Up here, and then you will dump into the truck to the train cars. Let's just check that. There is the trigger right there. You have to tip into the train cars to uh, make your sale. And we are now at the freight yard. And the freight yard takes canola, sunflowers, soybeans, corn, potatoes, sugar beet, and sugar cane. So as I said earlier, this map does... Uh, is fully prepared for seasons. It does have a snow mask. Um, so if you uh, are baling hay, then don't leave it out and have it get rained on. Uh, leave your straw bales out. They will also wet and rot away time. Uh, the map does not have a built-in geo at this point. So if you wish to uh, play with seasons, you can either use the seasons default weather or you can put in your own uh, Geo, should you so wish. And I, I'm not going to zoom way out because I can't see because all these trees covering the road. So, let's just go up here and check what this looks like a uh, forest. So, in the description, uh, it does say that this map has 13,000 trees planted. So, if you are going to plant more trees, you'll need the uh, more trees mod to do that. But, uh, forestry does look like it's your fast track to getting out of debt and getting some of your own equipment. But this is not easy forestry by any stretch of the imagination. Trees aren't really scattered willy-nilly, but uh, Topology of the ground is pretty varying.
everything here. Now literally on the edge of the of the actual landmass. Now come to the end of that road. On back, the, uh, the forests on the map are significant, and like I said, description says there are 13,000 trees. Go to town, enjoy yourself, cutting them all down. Uh, but it really does look like that is your your best bet to uh, to get into a profitable situation early. Find our way down here to what looks like a cell point. Knowing my luck, this road will not uh, intersect in any way with that cell point. Not sure where it's going, but divert around and oh, oh good, be stuck to landing. Alright, now we're down here. 32. Byfield 32, which is the spinnery. So here we have our wool cell point. Didn't really see how we got there, but now we're going to get out of here. And uh, you'll see how we leap. Zoom on out, out of the trees. And look around a little bit. All the fields are grass. Enjoy. Duck Zorley, this map is for you. I'm officially stamping this map, Duck Zorley approved. 40, 48 fields of, 49 fields of grass. Should have himself a good old time. All right, we're gonna go up here and make a left to then get up to the animal cell point and we will turn back around come on around. our animal cell point is up here on a rise I saw a, some fencing Up over there. Like, where is the road into the animal buy point? Got some equipment here, or some buildings for some equipment, and here is your animal buy triggers. And is there a road out of here that I missed? Yes, there was right there that I missed. There goes another forest. We're not going to go into that forest. We're, inevitably we will not be able to get out. So We're just going to drive around this particular way. Not too terrible bad of a drive. Down over everything. All those trees. Now Newbie Farm version 3 had a bunch of trees. Now, it had actual arable fields. It did not have everything in grass that I remember. Let's see here. This road will take us to uh, the next cell point. Seeing what looks like a lighthouse. But that dirt road probably would have taken us up there. Let's zoom back. Can't see where we're going. Our next cell point. Looks like it could be a brewery. It is indeed a brewery. 
So they will take our wheat and barley and our corn. Head on over here to the pig farm. Field 31, prime time for sugar beets or potatoes for the pigs. Don't need a lot of a lot of them. There in the farm. We won't go, we won't drive in here, we'll just come in. We have our slurry tank for our pigs and our newer pile for our pigs. We've got the feed trough and the water trough appears to be inside right here. Let's see where we go we can buy our get pigs delivered and we have what looks like a second silo we have a second silo down here at the pig farm very convenient for storing the crops that we need in order to feed the pigs and lots of nice building They didn't quite get the ground level when they put that building in. Very nice pig area. Very functional. This house is... This house needs to be demolished. It is... <laughs> oh, do not buy this house. I mean, can you imagine, like, going to dinner at that house? All the stuff on the dining room table would just slide off. All right, let's head on down the road. And I believe there's a dock. Imagine how this drive would look in autumn with all of these trees in different colors. And here we are at the dock. That's our cell point. Called the port. Port is our cell point. They buy everything, all the crops. Wood chips and straw pellet. Got a nice large building here. Storage or whatever. Another large building down here. Looks like you could uh, you put some stuff in. This one here. Well, not really big stuff park little stuff in here. It's one of those dirt roads. Forest over there. That road you can see. Around the uh, forest edge. Trucks over here. ENT truck and an express rental truck. Looks like we've got a uh, art 
or the dock still. Can't get to it. The building is blocking off that entire portion of the dock. You know, what I've been thinking here is that it would be interesting, and I was kind of looking around to see if this was the case, but it would be uh, it would be nice if, if maybe there was a second area for um, placeables be put, and the dock here seemed like a prime spot for that but not seeing that there is a large area other than this area right here. Maybe you could uh, place some things. Maybe around here you could have to uh, see. Oh, no, we hit a wall. That is that boundary. You can't go anywhere but there. All right. Head on up to the next area. Looks like we've got two cell points. Up there. So guys, have you all played a different variant of Newbie Farm? So this is version four. I did a video on version three many, 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 many moons ago. And uh, I knew Cavalier Roy. It's the uh, creator of Newbie Farm, knew that he was uh, working on a version that he was hoping to have available for Farm Sim 19. So he selected to go ahead and release it for Farm Sim 17. I suspected it will be a quick, quick convert over into Farm Sim 19. Here we have our hay straw and grass cell point. And then we have here Another grain cell point. Mill. Mill buys our main crops minus corn, potatoes, and sugar beets. Buys wheat, barley, canola, sunflowers, soybeans. That road is just going to take us up into a forest, no doubt. Down. If you haven't played another a previous variant of Newbie Farm, what do you think of this map? It's a, an interesting concept, um, starting with all the fields planted in grass. Basically, if you want to plant anything else, you're going to, at a minimum, have to cultivate if not have to uh, plow everything, not just to get the need plow and get the plow bonus, but to, uh, well, to uh, get rid of the grass. Shear at the lumber yard. Make our way around. I don't know what this structure is. Oh, it's, okay, it's kind of like a mill here by the uh, by the water. But uh, very. I like the the shape of the fields. They're not all square. Does this have collisions? They do have. For those who are curious, are collisionable. No driving through the hedges. Make your headlands for the AI workers. Head on up here. So this 
I'm remembering this area. Rain. And, oh, I think... So, I think I remembered reading in the description. Rain work. I think I read in the description that uh, you load your logs up on this train and then you send it off in order for it to hit the R button, uh, send the train off to sell your logs. Later, see if we've got a sell point for wood chips up here. Round back. Not seeing it, so I'm guessing there isn't a lumber yard. Lumber yard is not listed here, so it is only a log sell point. So guys, that is Newbie Farm version 4. Found it over at PCSG. This map is Seasons Prepared. And uh, it is quite an interesting map, to say the least. All the fields are planted in grass. Take a look here. We select grass. It is all yellow. It's all mobile grass. So if you want to plant anything, you're going to have to plow up all of fields or at least cultivate all the fields to get the grass out of it so let me know in the comments what you think of the map if you liked the video if you did please click the like button uh we do map videos on monday tuesday or not monday tuesday and thursday you typically we do let's play videos on monday wednesday and friday and then live streams scattered around um about the week so until next time happy farming <laughs>